But yeah, I accidentally gave one of my soldiers a normal gun when we could have gave them a fucking laser gun. I am gonna chop off my fucking balls and eat them. And, uh, kill this motherfucker. Whoa! What the fuck? I thought we were out of range of that bullshit. 100% shot on the Andromedon. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck? He's flying. Okay, that works. I don't know what's with me in sexual stuff and, like, swearing. But if you don't like it, go watch the fucking Treehouse channel. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm here with XCOM 2. And if we can get one like, that would really make my day. But yeah, um, the Avatar Project, that bar you see at the top, um, that is how close we are to losing the game. You can permanently lose the game. So we have no room to fuck up. I spent a lot of time giving these guys the names you suggested, like Endor Rodnia, aka Hellspawn is his nickname, and uh, Rocky Danger Buff. So we got our squad ready. And we are going to go kill some fucking aliens. Because the aliens are enslaving humans and we just can't have that shit. So yeah, we're off to take down this very hard mission called Operation Half-Dead God. And it appears as if we, like I said, have no room to fuck up. At all. So we brought all of our best guys and... It's been a while since I played this, so we might actually fucking lose. But if we do, I have a save. I'll have a save point because if we lose at all and we lose our best soldiers, we are going to lose the whole game. And we are way too far up Satan's butt to die now, okay? So yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments by and by clicking that like button. It really does make me feel a lot more, like, happy ab about uploading videos. When I upload a video and I get no, like, zero views and zero likes, it kind of kills my vibe. But I do appreciate it that you guys do watch my videos. And if you're watching this way in the future, then, uh, let me know if... No, don't let me know about flying sex cars or anything, because I'm dead. But yeah, leave a comment down below so people in the future can see what the fuck is going on, who's watching, and they could check out your channel, and if you want to collab with me, we can do that very soon. I'm actually going to be playing with Endor today. So what the fuck are we going up against right now? Alright, we're going to put our snipers up high because we do not want them to get fucked up or flank. And I'm going to... Put them... Oh, shit. I probably should have saved, but we'll, we'll do that after this move. Hopefully, we don't get screwed. All right. Operation Ballsack. That sounds just about right. So, yeah. Let's uh, see what we got here. Let's uh, send in they, that, that medic. Let's send in the medic. Let's slowly get in there so that we don't trigger the enemies. The enemies have a dark event, which gives them uh, a lot of... Uh, per detection range so we gotta be careful about that bullshit and we got new armor that gives our guys protection if we uh, activate oh shit I got a headset on and I just heard a sectopod and that basically means we're in deep fucking trouble ladies and gentlemen if you guys like turn based strategy games I would highly recommend this game to you it is, it is very addicting when you get into it. Now, let's see. What fucking difficulty am I playing on? I'm playing on Rookie. And this game is still hard as fuck. I used to be playing on Veteran, but that's, that day has long passed us. I, I hear this fucking robot. And he's gonna probe our asses. Hmm. We haven't been spotted yet. We're incognito. But we spotted the fucking Transformer and it's Snake Rapist, buddies. Uh, I really hope my men don't get raped by them. But, uh, you know, that might happen. You never know. We are outside of the detection range. So, we don't have much to worry about right now. 
So let's see where they move. Let's see what they do. Hopefully they don't spot us. Because I want to get the drop on them. Alright. Now, let's see. Let's see. What do we do here? What the fuck do we do, ladies and gentlemen? That is the real question here. What the fuck are we doing? We should take out the Andromedon, Andromedon first. Because they are heavy hitters. They can do a fuck ton of damage. So, we also gotta watch out for the, the snake people because they combined your players. Like, they bind your soldiers and squish them. So, we can't have that shit. So, let's get the first shot with this guy. Brennan Doyle. Just should have named him something better, but, uh, let's see. 100% shot on the Andromedon. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck? He's flying. Okay, that works. Now, we got our shot off, so now they're going to run behind co blah, 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 cover and be a bunch of little bitches. But they don't get a, a chance to shoot since it's our turn, which is why I'm very glad we got the first shot. And okay, we don't have to worry about these snake people. So that's always nice. We're going to move up and pray to God we don't trigger some more enemies. Because this Andromedon is a fucking problem. We are going to go for the rocket on this guy. No, wait, should we? He's in full cover, so we kind of need to act now. But I kind of don't want to... I don't want to waste a rocket, but he's in cover and he might actually get a shot off. And that weapon is very, very powerful. So we are going to blow his ass up. And we got rid of his cover, and we shredded some armor. Not bad. Now, let's see what we could... Oh, shit. I don't have a shot. Are you serious? What the heck? Okay, all the trees and stuff is in my fucking way. All right. Let's uh, get an 80% shot on this guy. Once my character decides to fucking attack. All right. So we killed the Andromedon, but it goes into another stage where it can only do melee. It's when the creature inside dies, it like goes into a final stance and or a final rage or something. And it uh just runs at you and we we don't want that. So we are going to fucking kill this thing. We are going to move up though, but he can no longer use his AoE attacks, which is what I was scared about. So, yeah, we're going to go in Overwatch and let the aliens do their thing. At least I don't think he can use his weapon. I sure as hell hope not. But here goes our reaction shot. Whoopity fucking do. And, of course, we missed because, you know, what's-her-face is drinking on the job. And, yeah, um, we got to get that, that gold square, you see? We got to get to that because we need... The fucking loot. We need everything at this point. Now, let's see. Let's, uh, let's blow this fucking thing's brains out. Oh, wait, no. It's already got his brains blown out. But let's fuck it up, shall we? Let's, uh, show it how we do things here on the, the cringe channel. Alright, I'm hoping this thing doesn't go nuclear when we kill it. Because that would not be good. We do not need that shit in our life. I don't know how it's a 64% shot. Oh, it's a sniper. That's why. I'm a fucking dumbass. But, uh, yeah. That, um, seems... To, we seem to have killed the aliens so far without any losses, any damage or casualties. Which is good because the mission said that there will be a sectopod. And a sectopod has a fuck ton of health. And it is just not good. We do not need that. So we're, we're going to take this loot here. We got two Illyrium cores or some shit. I do not know what that is. But we're going to assume that it's some really dank loot. So let's uh, get into Overwatch here and see what the aliens are doing. Alright, fuck all apparently. We gotta plant C4 and destroy the alien facility. 
and we have to extract everybody. We don't have any kind of turn limit, which is great. I am very glad about that. But we do, however, need to pass the turn and see if... Okay, no aliens scratching our butt just yet. So let's uh, slowly make our way up to the base, the big alien headquarters, where they're probing all of the humans and doing very nasty things. Uh-huh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna go there. Go Overwatch. We're going to send this noob up there. Uh, a lot of you die. We're going to go there with the sniper. And this heavy artillery guy, we're going to move him up with the homies. I shouldn't be grouping them together, but I... Okay, yeah, I really shouldn't have grouped them together. But we are actually going to save here because... Um, Operation Balsack might not go as planned. Oh, the facility is over this way. Jesus Christ. I thought it was to the left of us. And we see a fucking turret, which is not good because these guys got armor and shit. So we got a turret and I still hear an Andromedon or a Sectopod or something and we don't want that shit. We uh, did some damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. The the boys back at base will like will like this if uh, we can come back alive. Another turret. What did he do? These guys love their turrets. All right. So everyone's all moved up, and we are slowly but surely going to blow the shit out of this base. All right. We seem to have spotted something. Okay. There's the giant armor chicken. So, we gotta kill that fucking thing, but we also gotta watch out for these assholes with the, the stun lancer, because they are gonna stun us, and then we won't be able to do shit. So, we gotta get the fuck out of there, or we're gonna die. Now, let's see what we can do with our snipers. Uh, we got lightning hands, which gives us a free pistol shot, so we're gonna, we're obviously gonna take that. And we're going to miss a 70% shot. That sums up my whole fucking life. And yeah, we are going to... Oh my god, this is so... This is so nerve-wracking. These sectopods could take multiple shots in a turn. So we are going to actually try and kill it as fast as possible. And we're going to ignore the advent... Uh, the little guys until they get too close to us because I'm scared of that stun sword. It, it really fucks us up. Can we get them? Oh shit, can we? Yes, we can. Okay, so we are going to use the rocket launcher now because we need to kill these fuckers fast. And we got rid of that uh, shock guy's uh, cover. I'm not worried about the other one because he can't stun our guys and m knock them out. But yeah, we're going to do some real damage here. We uh, are going to use a serial ability and get a 100% shot here. Something I love to see. Which will give us a another shot at, at an enemy since we just killed one. And we're going to take... We could probably... Uh, I might be overthinking or I might be jumping the gun here. But we could probably kill the sectopod. Actually, no. We're not going to risk it. We are going to... Uh, I don't remember if the sectopod has... I'm pretty sure it has missiles, actually. Like, I don't remember. So we're just going to get rid of it right now. A lot of the advent have area of effect bullshit. So we got to watch out for that. Uh-huh, let's see, let's see. We're gonna wait to attack with him. This guy needs to get the fuck out of there. We need to stop piling up our dudes. Which is something I love to do, apparently. And we're not gonna be able to kill this sectopod, of course. So, that's a problem. A big problem. And I accidentally... Oh my god. I spent like 20 minutes giving all of my soldiers upgraded weapons 
and somehow this guy has a regular gun. Oh my fucking god. Are you serious? I am gonna chop off my fucking balls and eat them. Okay, we're, we're going to risk it and take a 66% shot and pray to God we hit it. Because I'm actually pretty mad right now. So, bang, we fuck, and he's still alive. That is fucking great. But yeah, I accidentally gave one of my soldiers a normal gun. When we could have gave them a fucking laser gun. But no, this asshole, you better not, please don't tell me he's going to do missiles. Oh shit, how much damage was- NINE?! Oh my fucking god! That's so- that's ridiculous! Okay, and I bet yeah he gets to attack again! Even though he just moved- his Oh my god, please don't kill my Colonel Sniper! Oh, Colonel- No, okay. I'm getting lightheaded from being an asshole, but- Oh my god, that was horrifying. Nine fucking damage. Now do you guys see what I mean? Like, holy shit. Calm the fuck down, you giant armor chicken. And I forgot this guy was on Overwatch. And of course, he misses because this is our lucky day. Just kidding. This is not our lucky day. This is bullshit. We are going to die. Our men are going to fucking die a horrible death. Which is something I do not want to happen. So we are going to gremlin send out the gremlin to heal this asshole that managed to get hit in full fucking cover. Which is a bit fucking ridiculous if you ask me. But no one asked me. We do not want our highest level soldier to die. That will make me cry. I will seriously cry if he dies. I am not kidding. I am not over exaggerating. Uh, can we kill it, is the question. Can we fix it? Can we? I really don't think we can. We're gonna do face-off, fire a pistol at everybody, because that's what we like to do. And we killed the annoying fucking asshole, uh, the little midget guy. We, we killed him. He's dead. Badushki. Done. And we're, we're, oh my god, why didn't I do this first? The alien grenade shreds armor, so now we can do more damage. And of course, me being the dumbass I am, oh my fucking god, we only got one shot left. So we are going to throw a smoke grenade. Hopefully, it's, okay, making sure it's a smoke grenade. Last thing I want to do is blow up my own men. But yeah, we are going to do that and uh, kill this motherfucker. Whoa! What the fuck? I thought we were out of range of that bullshit. Okay, fine. Walk around, you giant armor chicken. Asshole. Look, he's gonna kill our sniper. Oh my god, why? Why? I didn't know he was in range. I thought he was out of range. God damn it. Endor, I'm sorry, but you died. And now one of our men is pan- One of our girls is panicking. But instead of being a pussy, she f shot back. But yeah, this is bullshit. Like, I was pretty damn sure we were out of fucking range. Oh wait, no, she's only bleeding out. So we could actually uh, stabilize. And stop the soldier from bleeding the fuck out. So we're going to do that and hopefully the person gets up. Because I don't want to carry their lazy ass to the objective. But I have a bad feeling we're going to have to. Yep, we are going to have to carry this motherfucker. Just so, Okay. Okay. I don't like this. Alright, let's see. What do we got going on here? We are going to kill this fucker for being an asshole. Die, you robot chicken. Did I just miss like a million percent shot? Okay. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll, we'll play bullshit. Fine, 92% shot? Don't you dare miss. Or I'm 69ing your mother tonight. Alright, great. Thank you for killing the giant sectopod bitch. Now, we gotta pick this lazy fucker up. And bring him back to the fucking place. 
which is going to be a real pain in the ass. Oh my god, why do bad things happen to good people? Why? I'm a good person. We're going to reload. And pray to God we don't get ambushed. And this panicking pussy better stop panicking. I don't know what's with me in sexual stuff and like swearing. But if you don't like it, go watch the fucking Treehouse channel. But I, I don't want to be mean to you. Because if you made it this far in the video, chances are you actually like my videos. And you're not a fucking asshole from Reddit. So thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. If I'm still alive, I will respond to you in the comments. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you for making it this far. If you made it this far and you want to see more, let me know in the comments. If there's a game you want to see me play, let me know. Just just say the word. And leave, don't forget to leave a nasty little comment. Like I just said. And don't forget to like. And don't forget to donate $2 million to me. If you don't, I'll find you and have rough butt sex with you. But if that's your thing, then by all means. Now, we gotta carry this lazy bastard to the extraction point. And here we go, planting the bomb, making sure the aliens don't, uh, you know, do nasty shit. And the bomb is armed. We gotta extract all of our soldiers. Can okay, we could do it anywhere, so we could get out of there in one piece. All right, let's let's actually do that. Let's just run away right now, and get the fuck out of there. So yeah, we got out without losing anybody. The however, we we do have someone critically wounded, but I'm hoping they get to make it back alive and that we did this right. But, yeah, we got everybody out alive. That was a successful mission. I'm hoping that it will lower the Avatar project. And Michael Bay Productions. Bada bing. There goes all their shit. Alright, that was actually not that bad. Um, we didn't kill all the enemies, but I quite frankly do not give a fuck. And yeah, the guy on the right, it looks like the guy in the blue. I'm sure you already seen his face, but it looks like a smurf jizzed all over his face. I, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when I created that character. But yeah. So, let's see what, what, what happened. Let's see. I brought the person back on my character's back. Ah, gravely wounded, gravely wounded... All right, promotions. Let's see. Endor Rodnia, you leveled up. Nice. And field medic, obviously. Two extra med kits. That is a big no-no, or a big yes-yes, compared to the scanning protocol. Bullshit. I don't even want to read it, because it makes me want to cut my face off. Uh, okay, medical protocols, clearly better than combat protocol, in my opinion. And do we want a sword? When the squad is revealed, the soldier remains concealed. Um, I don't know. I don't think we should go with that. I think we should go with Blade Master. But at the same time, I do not like being out in the open. And that is what Blade Master is. No, fuck it. We're going to go with Blade Master because once you're spotted, it's kind of a waste. And I'll most likely forget about that anyways. We got some, Ill oh, Illyrium cores. Yeah, we got Illyrium cores. Avatar progress reduced by two. We managed, now let's, let's check and see what the, the aliens got going on. We do, however, need more contacts. And more, we don't need more power. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking about to say. We need more power. But, yeah, the Avatar project gets reduced by two, so we might not actually lose. Whereas in the last episode, it looked like we were gonna fucking lose. So, yep, this is the map so far. We got a lot of it discovered. Um, I think next we should go over to the next black site. But I kind of feel like we should not waste time and do the Codex Brain. Which doesn't have any uh, threatening enemies. The reward is 175 supplies. 
Uh, and that's a story mission. We should advance the story and beat the game. We've had enough fucking around. We need to win the damn game. Because if we just go around here all day, we're going to eventually lose. And the dark events are fucking bullshit. And yeah, that's it for this episode. If you made it this far in the video, let me know. Leave a nasty comment down below. I hope you enjoy this video. If you made it this far in the video, it really does mean a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.